What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about silver and whether or not I believe the spot price is rigged or fake or manipulated. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stack and t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, as well as the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tee available in orange, gray, and purple. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver. As we all know, the current spot price is only $24 and change. Pretty much where it's been the last couple of days. And as I'm filming today's video, it's Sunday morning. So spot price isn't really going to be doing anything at all until later on tonight. And then obviously this upcoming week, I'm sure it'll be up and down quite a bit again, but I don't foresee it doing anything crazy for at least a couple of weeks. But away from all of that, I wanted to talk about the spot price and whether or not I think that it is rigged. Because this is a comment that I received time and time again. The second spot price moves in a direction that the person leaving the comment didn't want to move in. They claim that it's rigged. For example, if it goes up when they want it to go down, they say something along the lines of, Oh, it's because they don't want us to have any more silver, so they are making spot price go up. It's rigged. Or if spot price goes down when they want it to go up, all of a sudden is, Oh, it's rigged. They're suppressing it. It's manipulated. It's going down and down and down because they don't want us to make currency off of the money. When fact of the matter is, I personally do not believe that's the case. Now, I don't have any rock solid evidence that there's not somebody sitting there in a room flipping a switch, making silver go up and down, whatever number they want it to go to. But I personally do not believe it's rigged. I don't believe the spot price is fake. Is there foul play? Absolutely. I mean, just look at everything regarding JP Morgan. Seen that name in the news quite a bit, time and time and time again. There is always going to be foul play. There's always going to be someone attempting to manipulate a market. There's always going to be someone doing the whole pump and dump. There's someone going to do this, somebody going to do that, somebody overhyping something, somebody kind of like trying their best to suppress something so they can get more of it. And that's always going to exist. That's always going to be the case. But what do we see when somebody is accused of allegedly attempting to manipulate a market? They get sued. So... Moving away from all that, I personally do not believe it's heavily manipulated. I don't believe the spot price is fake. I don't believe it's rigged. I don't think that the cards are stacked against us or anything like that. And I'll tell you exactly why that is. And I think it's also important to remember that silver has real intrinsic value. Silver is not worth something just because we think it's worth something. It's not like other types of concepts that are essentially backed by hopes and dreams and have no intrinsic value and aren't even physically there, that's not what silver is. Silver is very, very different because not only is it a precious metal, it's an industrial metal. It has more than 10,000 different uses. Jewelry, silverware, probably the most common for a lot of people who don't know all that much about silver, but let's not forget it's potentially the greatest conductor of both heat and electricity. It's used in batteries, photography, medicine, solar panels, cars. Silver is used everywhere. It's not just those of us who are stacking it for wealth preservation purposes. Silver has all of these uses in all of these different industries, all of these different fields, all of these different sectors, all of these massive corporations rely on silver for their products and their manufacturing. Silver is very, very important. So it's not like spot price goes up and down because of us, necessarily. Premiums might go up and down because of us. We decide which coins, rounds, and bars deserve the highest premiums, essentially. We're the ones who are happy to pay a high premium for a specific particular coin. If that's what we want, if that's what everybody is 
flocking to or gravitating to, the premium on that is going to go up. And then all the coins, rounds, and bars that people couldn't really care less about or aren't all that interested in or aren't dying to have, the premiums stay low. Premiums, yes. They go up and down. The precious metal dealers, the coin shops, they decide which premiums go up, which premiums go down, which premium they should take a small percentage off as for a flash sale or whatever the case may be. So yes, the premiums, but I don't want to talk about the premiums. I want to talk about the spot price. Silver, the spot price of silver goes up and down for a variety of reasons. It's not just the precious metal dealers. They're not the ones who decide what the spot price is. There's a global demand for silver because of all of these massive industries and and sectors and corporations and everything that silver is used for. Like I said, 10,000 different uses. If I thought that spot price was rigged, why in the world would I be stacking it? That wouldn't make very much sense. That's like betting on a sports team that you believe is going to lose. That makes absolutely zero sense to me. So people think, or maybe they're just telling themselves that it's rigged to make them feel better or whatever. I'm not exactly sure. But if you think that something is rigged, I don't understand why you involve yourself in it. That's just me. But personally, I don't think it's rigged. I think there's some foul play from time to time. Of course, there's always going to be in all the different markets. Happens in real estate, happens in the stock market, happens everywhere. It even happens in the, the digital fiat realm. Just a couple years ago, there was this big hype and excitement, and it got shut down for being a Ponzi scheme. People put tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars into this thing, and it was fake all along. But silver, on the other hand, it's a little bit different because silver, it's a physical asset that you hold in your hands. You, it's right in front of you. You, you, can, you can pick it up. You can put it down. You can hold on to them. You see it in person. You feel it in your hands. It's physically there in front of you. And it has real intrinsic value. This stuff right here, this is not backed by hopes and dreams. This is backed by the 10,000 plus different uses that it has. Silver is an extremely important metal. Just like platinum, just like palladium, just like gold. But silver is an incredibly versatile metal. It's used all over the place. It's needed for so many things. Silver is incredibly important. And the fact that we can get it for pretty much dirt cheap right now, $24 spot price, when premiums are really only looking like, what, two, three, four, five dollars Sure, it's quite a bit higher up than this time last year. This time last year, what was spot price? About like 16, 17 bucks. Premiums were only like, what, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars? We were able to get a troy ounce of silver for $20 or less. Many of us, psychologically at least, are still used to that. Maybe had a hard time adjusting to the spot price being quite a bit higher than where it was for the longest time and premiums being significantly higher than where they were for the longest time. It's a lot different. Not a big fan of spot price and premiums to both be higher, but it is what it is. If I could rig it to make it lower, that would be fantastic. But I can't do that, and I wouldn't do that. But coming around full circle, even with the premiums being up higher, in my opinion and from my perspective, I still consider it to be dirt cheap. $24 with a few dollars over spot for a premium, that's really not that bad. And to be quite honest with you, having to pay 27, 28 bucks sometimes, maybe a little lower for just one particular troy ounce of silver. Is it a hassle? Yes, especially if you're comparing it to this time last year, but what about this time next year? Obviously, I have no idea what spot price is going to do by then. I'm not a psychic. I'm not a fortune teller. And this is not financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel should be taken as financial advice. Make sure to do your own research before doing anything with your money or your currency. But the point I'm trying to make is what about 
if spot price goes up significantly over the next 365 days? What if this time next year, spot price is, I don't know, $36? What then? People are going to be saying that they wished that they went harder at $24. Now, as I always say, don't be controlled by the fear of missing out. Don't break your bank account or max out your credit cards or go broke. Fiat broke, that is. Stockpiling all the silver in the world right now just because you're afraid that it might go up another 10 plus dollars within the next year. Stack at your own pace. That goes without saying. That should be pretty obvious. But just in case somebody didn't realize that there's no guarantee that spot price is going to take off, stack at your own pace. Back to what I was saying earlier. If I thought silver was rigged, I wouldn't be stacking silver. If I thought that the cards were stacked against me, if I thought that it was purposely being held down and suppressed so that the value never goes up, why would I be involved in it? Silver does what silver wants to do, and it's based off of the global silver demand. Right now, I believe it's an opportunity because with the current spot price being where it's at, but here's the last thing that I wanted to say. A lot of these fields and industries and sectors being on somewhat of a standstill. Now, obviously, many of them are still operating the way that they've been operating the last couple of years. But many of them either postponed operations or stopped operations altogether due to the current lockdowns. So the ones that are shut down or the ones that slowed down or the ones that reduced production because of everything going on in the world these last couple of months or this whole year, essentially, when they come back full swing, they're going to be needing silver. They're going to be needing a lot of things, but they're going to be needing silver. So I could be wrong. I've been wrong in the past. I'll be wrong again in the future, but something tells me that when they come back full swing... And that demand returns, I have a strong feeling spot price might go up. Because don't forget, not a whole lot of silver was mined this year. The mines were shut down as well. Far less silver was produced this year than the year before, the year before that, and the year before that, and the year before that. Less silver was being dug up Less coins, rounds, and bars were being minted, and less silver was needed because less products and less manufacturing was going on this year. So when those industries come back full swing, keep in mind, some of those industries weren't even phased this year, but a lot of them were. Not to mention, not a whole lot of people were spending this year. Not a lot of people were buying things, aka people who would normally be buying jewelry. The number one biggest player when it comes to the global silver demand. More than 20% of the global silver demand comes from the jewelry industry. And not a lot of people were buying jewelry this year, to my understanding. I'm sure sales are down. So what's going to happen over the next couple weeks, months, maybe the next year or two? Things begin to normalize. Things begin to stabilize. People get back on track financially. They're back at work. It's going to go right back to spending. And something tells me that's probably going to be a smarter time for them to be buying jewelry than this current moment or any of these previous months. So the spending will soon resume. All the manufacturing I believe will soon resume. And something tells me that the spot price of silver will be making its way up shortly after. But I could be wrong. This is just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below, do you think the markets are rigged? Do you think the precious metals 
are suppressed. You think silver and gold is being held down or pushed up on purpose. I personally don't, but I'm curious. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I can read more comments and respond to more viewers in real time. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. It all gets posted in one spot. And of course, you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500 and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tea available in orange, gray, and purple. Only available this month. Get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know your opinion on those who claim that the markets are rigged, that it's fake, that it's completely, entirely, heavily manipulated. Spot price isn't even real, according to some of these people. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section down below. Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Are you kind of on the same page as me where you say, no, it's not rigged, although there is going to be some foul play from time to time, in which case the people who allegedly try to manipulate, get sued, and are held accountable, hopefully at least. Let me know in the comment section down below anything and everything related to that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.